Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading, how your spiritual journey is going for cancer. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements uh, for April 2022. So we're going to take a look at how, how your spiritual journey is currently going, and then we'll take a look at what else you guys need to know, what else you guys need to work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, uh, just a quick note that these messages, um, this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched. This is more so for cancer, their personal growth, their spiritual growth here. But if you would like to cross-watch, you could feel free to do so, okay? So uh, cancer, let's get started. Tell me about cancer. How is your current spiritual journey going for April 2022? How is cancer's current spiritual journey going for April 2022? So we have the King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Seems to be, you know, seems like things are going pretty well. Seems like you're in this energy of really, like, just kind of moving along, kind of footloose, fancy free, enjoying yourself, perhaps enjoying the work that you're doing right now, enjoying, um, you know, uh, uh, enjoying the people that are around you, perhaps regarding your work. Uh, but whatever you do, I feel like you guys might be into art or something like that. Arts and crafts, maybe like sculptures, paintings or something like that. Um, tell me more. Wow. Cancer, seems like you're leaping into your happiness here. Fulfillment, okay? Because I feel like, you know, there's, there. what's going on here? I feel like you're reaching your goals in life, Okay your goals in life of, you know, what's fulfilling for you. Um, you know, f the, perhaps this is for you, you know, perhaps this is you, your family, your friends, uh, perhaps you might be dealing with a partner here. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So it seems like you're moving towards your passion here. I feel like you're good. I feel like, you know, eight plus one is nine. I feel like you're not going to let anything stop you from pursuing what you want, which is your goals here. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Maybe some of you guys are starting a new business. Maybe you guys have a new idea that you're uh, here. Um, some of you guys may be doing a lot of traveling or something like that. Uh, there is a lot of movement that's happening here. Uh, cancer. Uh, King of Cups. We have the two of wands. Okay. Uh, energies we have here so far, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Aquarius. Could be dealing with any of those energies, past, present, or future. You could have those energies in your chart. Uh, Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like you're really pursuing something new here. Um, you know, that Ace of Pentacles, you know, that could be a new business, okay? Uh, that could be like, a, a you know, st basically starting... Perhaps, start, basically starting over again. I mean, that Ace of Pentacles could be anything, moving to a new home, you know, starting a new relationship or something like like that, buying a new car. Um, let's see, tell me about the uh, Fool. All right, we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So we have two energies here. You could be dealing with an air sign here. Ten of Cups. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Seems like there's a, some sort of positive change happening in your relationship here. Perhaps you are partnered up with an air sign here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But, you know, you could be moving towards a commitment here. Perhaps you waited a long time for this to happen. Okay, um, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands and the Lovers in the reverse. Cancer energy. Cancer energy. Gemini energy. Um... 
seems like there was a separation here with some, where someone here moved on from someone. So I don't know if you're waiting for someone to come back, Cancer. Okay, Eight of Wands. And then the Eight of Swords. All right, Cancer. Seems like you're, you might be thinking about a relationship or that you're hoping someone here would change. The thing is, you can't really... I feel like you try to help this person to change. The thing is, you can't really change someone that when they're not ready for it. I mean, you might be moving away from this person or starting starting new or starting fresh just because, you know, maybe you were dealing with someone here that was maybe treating you horribly. I feel like, you know, maybe this person was behaving poorly and I feel like you helped try to help this person, but I feel like it didn't work. If anything, it backfired. Let's see what else we have for cancer. What else do we have for cancer here? What else does Cancer need to know regarding your spiritual journey? What do you need to work on for April 2022? Ace of Swords. We have a lot of aces here, by the way, in the Four of Pentacles. I mean, we have these pentacles here. Seems like a lot of you guys might be saving money. Okay, or that some of you guys might be struggling with money or having worries around money here. Okay, we have the uh, devil and the four of wands. Seems like you might be dealing with a karmic twin flame or something like that, or just a karmic in general. I don't think there's a, I mean, cor correct me if I'm wrong. If there, I don't, I don't think there's karmic twin flames. Are there? I don't know. Yeah, just correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here. But I feel like you might be dealing with a karmic here. Whatever you're dealing with here, I feel like this is a, like a super intense relationship where someone here could have been very, 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 very controlling, okay? Um, I do feel like you were dealing with someone here who would have been non-committal, who have, could have been really mean to you. But, you know, right now, I just feel like, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles here, with all of these pentacles, you know, these wands here, I feel like you're more so focusing on yourself. Okay, I feel like you're more, more so focusing on yourself here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. You know, you could be in this energy of really wishing this person the best. Uh, we got the world. Seems like that you're you're being awakened. Okay, to move on from something that's not uh, or someone that's not really serving you. I mean, this could be in general. This could be anyone or anything. Four of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Wands. Seems like you're releasing a lot of stuff here, Cancer. Releasing negativity, releasing toxicity here. Um, seems like you've been holding on to a lot of burdens, perhaps another person's burdens, and you're letting that go. Um, devil. Perhaps there was some sort of projection here, okay? Uh, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Okay, and then we have the... Um, the, um, I almost said the Aries, the Emperor, Aries energy. So, Cancer, I feel like you're soul searching. I feel like you're transcending, you're ascending from a king to an emperor here. So I feel like you're definitely in this energy of being more wise, being more mature than you were before. So I feel like you've learned some big lessons here in life. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Nine of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys are really, really focusing on your Pentacles. You know, and this with the Seven of Swords, I feel like this is you using those swords to protect yourself. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like you're looking to break free of all this mess that you've dealt with with this individual. And they feel like you're seeking happiness here. You know, I, f I feel like a lot of the happiness that you're looking for, it will come to you very unexpectedly as you completely peel off the layers and start removing things that are no longer serving you here. Yeah, perhaps you're face facing your fears here. 
doing your shadow work, looking towards the future, okay? Um, seems like you're making big plans here for yourself. Let's see what else we have for Cancer. What else do we have for Cancer? Okay, we have career. Yeah, I feel like you're just really focusing on your uh, pentacles, okay? You're just really, really focusing on your pentacles. And we have truth here. Perhaps you're going through some sort of awakening or that you're seeing things for what it is or accepting the truth here, okay? No longer challenging it, okay? No longer running from it. So there is some sort of acceptance that's happening here too. And I feel like this is re regarding a love connection, a really horrible, toxic love connection that you've been in here. What else do we have for cancer? I feel like you're in this masculine, okay? After the rain, silver lining, relief, hope, mercy, it's over, acceptance. Seems like you're getting over the hard part here, okay? So I feel like you've gone through a lot. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have these sacred waters, nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, care. So you're in this energy of definitely really just taking care of yourself. I mean, this looks really, really, really good, Cancer. Hey, wait, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Okay, so I feel like maybe, you know, right now you're just in this energy of sort of like going with the flow here, okay? Going with the flow, letting things naturally uh, unfold. On the bottom of the deck, watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. You know, also so, watch your thoughts. Sometimes your thoughts becomes your action. So if you like are acting on a fear-based consciousness, okay, you know, it could really affect you and other people around you. All right. So cancer, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.